A Pennsylvania girl on vacation comes into contact with something unusual in the water. Yeah, her family saying she was bit by a shark, but Ocean City officials saying it may have been something else. Rachel Carden live for us now along the water's edge after speaking to experts about shark behavior this time of year. Rachel. Hey, Rick and Denise. Yeah, so a local marine biologist here in Baltimore said getting bit by a shark is extremely uncommon. Shark attacks almost never happen, which is why it's often just one bite, a case of mistaken identity, and the shark lets go. But that one bite can cause some serious damage, like the damage you're about to see. So we want to warn you, some of the images are pretty graphic. This is 12-year-old Jordan Prashinsky's leg after getting out of the water in Ocean City on Monday. She felt something sharp brush up against her. The family thinks the wound is a shark bite. We still don't know what type of shark it was. The ER doctor confirmed that this was a shark bite. Ocean City's beach patrol was on scene to treat the little girl and say some sort of encounter with marine life can't be ruled out. But in Butch Arden's 49 years with the beach patrol, he's never seen anything like this. And they're not confirming it was a shark. The wound pattern from this little girl indicates this absolutely was not an attack. We don't know what it was. Jay Bradley, local shark expert and the curator of the Blue Water exhibit at the National Aquarium, says though the ocean is the shark's home and swimmers are just visitors, it's not unsafe to be in the water with sharks. They don't want to bite people. The chances of this happening are pretty low. If it was indeed a shark in the shallow waters that day, chances are it was not seeking out humans as a food source. Generally, it is thought to be a mistaken identity. The majority of attacks are on the extremities, either the hands or the feet, and typically it's one bite and then the shark moves on. For Jordan, it was enough of a scare to stay away from the water for a few days, but probably not forever. I'm kind of like wanting to stay out of the water for a little while. Um, but something like this is rare and it's even rare for it to happen again. Now, in total, Jordan got 42 stitches for the 20 lacerations in her leg, but she's in good spirits and recovering. Butch Arden, again, the captain with the Beach Patrol, says it's much more common for people to be injured in a rip current than to have an encounter with a shark. So, of course, he encourages you to be careful when in the ocean. We're live in Baltimore City. I'm Rachel Carden for WJZ.